Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with what I've melted for the last week. Before I get into that, I do want to just um, kind of update you guys on what I've been doing for the last week or so. So I got in most of my hauls. Um, it was really embarrassing. The mailman had three, four, five packages for me <laughs> almost every day. Um, a couple of my hauls came in two boxes because they didn't fit in one. So they were from the same vendor. It was the same order, but it looked like a lot more because it was two boxes. And yeah, so, um, I'm almost done doing my writing down what I have. So I did decide to stop recording every single piece of wax I own because with writing it down, and taking inventory and then if I record it it's just I have wax everywhere and it's just so time consuming my kids are now out of school for summer break we go we get out mid-may and we go back the first week of August I know I get a lot of comments about that but we go back relatively early it's already hitting 90 degrees here starting tomorrow I think and so they just don't want them going to school when it's so hot because it is just, it like takes your breath away how hot it is. You step outside and you struggle breathing. So we always get out about a week before Memorial Day and we go back the first week of August. So right now it's so hectic here that with them out of school, I just don't have time anymore to record every single piece I own. So I'm writing down what I have. I will do like a organization that slash storage video that shows what I have but I'm not gonna I, I deleted all the videos I had that I hadn't uploaded of my collection because it's just so much so that being said I am only waiting on waiting on VCS I did order from VCS because as I mentioned in my last video when I destashed all of my VCS I was in the middle of rearranging warmers switching out warmers I, I believe my Sensi warmers weren't acting as good as they should have because I think the bulbs were getting ready to blow out because I had two that the bulbs blew out at the same time. And I do, I don't know if there's any merit behind it, but I do think they don't perform as well when they are about to blow out. And so between that, switching to the Ashland warmer, not knowing I needed to put more wax in, I wasn't getting a good throw from VCS and I was melting her stuff a lot because I had a lot of her stuff and I just got so frustrated and I don't sleep on anything. I just, I bite the bullet and I just get rid of stuff. I don't sleep on it. I don't think about it. I don't rationalize it. So I did place an order <coughs> yesterday because I have next to nothing. I do have a few things I have gotten in D stashes or in friend mail, but I for the most part, I don't have hardly anything. So I did order from her. I did buy a couple of these stashes of her stuff, but I'm waiting for that to come in. So other than that, the only other vendor I'm, I haven't counted yet is Sasagora Roma. And that's because I just got my pre-order and ready to ship in yesterday or Saturday. And I haven't had time to go through it all. So um, I'll be doing that at some point today. So now into what you came here for. Um, this week I focused a lot on finishing up um, scent shots, partial clams, and bags that only had a couple melts left. I think I did really, really well. I emptied quite a bit more than I normally do. So as usual, I will start with what I did not finish. The first thing is Pink Sugar Sleepy Time from Sasago Aroma. This is my all-time favorite bedroom blend from any vendor. I do have two loaves of this I picked up in the pre-order, so I am going to work through this. It is not very old it's only six months old but her stuff does perform very well for me even past the year mark so I am cool with that this I tried to finish and I just couldn't this week and it's Mary Mouse from Super Tarts there's just two left so I will finish that this coming week it is a really good blend I do have a whole nother band bag of this and it is just really nice with that mouse ear blend and then the Christmas trees it is really nice the Christmas tree just gives it it gives it that pine note, but it's not like a only Christmas time. Like it's not going to smell good if it's not Christmas. It just makes it smell really good. I, I, it's really hard to explain, but I really enjoy it. But I will finish that this coming week. Cookie Monster and Summer Scoop from Sasago Aroma. I got this in a D-stash, and this is really, really good. I love Summer Scoop blends, and I love Cookie Monster blends. So I melted that throughout the house yesterday. Or... 
Saturday, I think it was. Then I did some Beehive from uh, VCS. I got this in some friend mail. This one is one of my top favorite scents. It's lemon coconut cream butter cake zucchini bread. I didn't write that, so I had to figure out what that said. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is one of my favorites. I absolutely love, love, love the scent. Um, it is just a really good lemon zucchini bread scent. And then you definitely get like a buttery cake or, you know, you like, yeah, like a butter cake type note. I'm trying to dig through because once for once, I think I have more that I emptied than ones I didn't. So I'm having to dig through the non empties. So all right, then I melted some Immortal Child, and this one is Go to Sleep and Happy Birthday Combined. It is such a beautiful scent. I do have a whole band bag of this I got in the uh, pre-order she did earlier this year. So I'm wanting to finish this up. This I got in a D-Stash. I don't know how old it is, and I just don't like to hold on to stuff that I don't know their age. Twisted Peppermint Vanilla Bean Oil Pink Sugar from Kimmer Ann's. I'm really trying to finish my Kimmer Ann's because I have a lot of her stuff, and... It's still performing very well despite being a year and a half old. It's still performing very well for me. Um, this is a nice minty scent and it is one that I would definitely repurchase. She is one I will repurpose, repurchase from in the fall. Her wax is on the softer side. I prefer her parasoy over her paraffin. And so because it's softer, I won't buy in the summer. And she's, I think she's either closed or just working very part time because she does an ice cream shop during the summer so once she closes the ice cream shop around labor day um she will get back to doing wax so that's about the time i will order from her again but she has some amazing amazing scents all right anything else yes okay summer breeze and clothes on the line from rose girls this i cut this chunk it's a full chunk i cut it in half put it in the bathroom i have one more left for this week this is an amazing laundry blend i love summer breeze beauty and the beast from super tarts the little hash mark that means it was from wax wednesday of 2017 um this is an amazing scent i really enjoy it. it's blackberries magically delicious it's just a nice blackberry light bakery type scent. All right, and then let me look. I believe this is the last thing I didn't finish. And this is a data, and this is lavender cream pear slices and sugar cookies. This is also from 2017. This one I need her to do tart treks in Bam Bag so I can pick this up in Starfleet. This is an amazing scent. I really, really like this combo. I didn't think I'd like pear with lavender and sugar cookies, but it goes really well together. All right everything else I have finished and I got through quite a bit like I said I really tried to focus on melting things that only had a couple melts left or ones that you know were like clamshells with like two cubes left or whatever so the first thing that I finished is Barbershop from that Smell Good Shop. I cut these in half for the bathroom, and I did, I'm trying to finish my 2017, early 2018 wax from her. So I cut it in half. I did half of my kitchen and half of my bathroom. And this is good. It's not my favorite shaving cream scent, but it is good. It does perform very well. Then I did Lattes by the Fire. This one I put in my living room yesterday. So I did the whole thing in my living room. I put it on about 9 a.m., and by the time I switched my wax out around... 6 30 in the evening it was still throwing very strongly but I was in the mood for something else so that was what nine hours and it was still going really strong her stuff does perform very well for me I usually get a very long lasting throw from her stuff I don't think I've ever had anything not perform well I may not have liked it but I don't think I've had anything not perform well this is like a smoky like coffee and bonfire scent there's nothing sweet about it so it's not like a marshmallow fireside it is a coffee and bonfire type scent from nana makes sense i did maple sugar i cut this in half i did it in my kitchen two different times this is really good this is one that i probably should have saved for fall but i was told that the labels that were handwritten like this were poured late last year and i just did not want to hold on to them for you know till fall of this year but it is one that i would probably repurchase it to perform very well Vanilla coffee, I cut this in half and put it in my kitchen two different times. Um, this one performed okay. It was still wasn't as strong as I 
would have liked my coffee scents to be. I did smell it. Um, I put it in my kitchen because my kitchen is a smaller room and it has a Big Lots 24 watt hot plate. So if I get a good performance, then it's because of, I know the warmer really gets hot, it will get that scent out. I put it on right around breakfast time and by the time we were done with breakfast, I couldn't smell it very much anymore. Um, so I got maybe an hour throw from that. I'm, and 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 to not to you know and to her defense, I don't get a very good throw from vanilla coffee. For some reason, the vanilla kind of tones down the coffee too much. I think, in my opinion, I don't know. All right, from sugar and spice, rosemary, mint, salty Sierra Noel. This is an amazing blend. I did this all over my house the other day. Um, yeah, I cut it in half. Oh, I, I cut it in half. I did half of my bedroom and half of my living room. And it was just an amazing blend. I love this. Um, I've been told that she is going to reopen and start doing Ready to Ship again. I don't know whether or not I'll order Ready to Ship. I was telling Kim that most of my blends I got from her were custom. And I know she's not really ready for customs right now. So if she reopens for customs again, I will order definitely. Um, I may look and see if Ready to Ship, if there's anything I want, but I don't know. Lavender sugar cookie dough bread. This was, I think, the oldest I had, yeah, from 8 of 17. This still performed very well. Cut it in half. Did it in my bedroom two different nights. It's just a nice, sweet lavender. And then there's, like, that sugar cookie dough. All right. And then we have hazelnut espresso. This I cut in half. I did half in my dining room, which is the Ashland warmer. And then I cut the other half in half <laughs> and did that part in my office and then part in my kitchen it was good this didn't last very long either and so I did not I'm not really much into um, the haze in that sense all right so then we have vanilla bourbon pipe smoke from L3 this one I absolutely love it was so good I like grandpa's pipe better from Hayden, oh, not Hayden Row, um, Dessa's, but this was still pretty good. So I would repurchase it. I'm trying to finish up my 2017 wax from her as well. And then I have birthday cake, cotton candy frosting, jelly donuts. These typically are lighter scents, but this performed very, very well for me. I liked it. I cut it in half and did it in my living room and bedroom. And half is what I needed for a good scent throw. And then I finished Squeaky Clean from Hayden Row. And this one is Sea Air Citrus Ozone Light Florals, Amber Moss, and Sandalwood. This one's amazing. This one you have to do little bits at a time. It is so powerful. I just, I, I think I melted this scent shot. I think I did six melts from this. This was so strong, but it's amazing. That's one I will always have on hand. All right, on to clamshells. I finished Laundry Basket from Sensationals. This one is so, so good. It smells more like the wet laundry in between the washer and dryer. I do really enjoy this one. I need to see if my Walmart still has them. And then I finished Toodles from Super Tarts. This one was getting a little on the softer side. I think it's it depends on the dyes. Some of my older wax like this one. This one's older than that and it's fine. Um, but this one had that yellow and it was newer and did this so I am not reaching for my clamshells as much as I do bam bags so I think I, once I'm done with my clamshells I'm only going to buy in clamshells the things I don't want in bulk certain scents I only want like one clamshell and it'll last me like the year because I don't melt it very often and then some things I need like five bam bags of but I think that's what I'm going to do I'm just keep my clamshells to ones I don't like in bulk and the ones I want in bulk I'll buy one or two bam bags of this is amazing. This is my this is my number one favorite mouse ears blend. Mary Mouse is my second. And this is just really good with that gain and the lemonade lollipops. It's just a favorite. It's super strong, performs very well. All right, last we have is bags. So I did Goosebumps. I did this in my living room. This one's like a Mac Apple pumpkin and biscuit or something like that. It's really good. It is a fall type scent, but I had all these samples I wanted to finish up that I did not know how old they were or ones that I had for a while. So I want to finish that up. Flawless performance. Love it. Will always repurchase. Love Spell Downy April Fresh from L3. This I got in a friend mail a long time ago. I would say probably mid-2017-ish. Yeah. 
Um, this performed very well. It was one of those little bunny ear heads things. I got this. This was it was like a puppy pack shape or doggy bag shape. Really good. Put it in my bathroom. I mostly got the love spell out of it, and but it was really really good. I finished Pink Lavender Mallow. This was my oldest wax that I had from that Smell Good Shop from 10 of 17. It's just Pink Sugar, Sweet Lavender Mallow. Really, really good. Love this blend. We'll always repurchase it. I finished Starfleet from Super Tarts. Another favorite of mine. This one I will buy at least two band bags of when they are offered in the Tart Trex collection. I do have a couple clamshells, so I'm good on it for now, but I will be picking up multiple band bags when that's offered. It's just a nice zucchini bread and then you definitely get like a jelly donut and you get that sugar all right so l3 white tea and ginger tea and cakes still not a ginger this was like doggy bag um doggy bag pieces there was like three i think there was like a fluted tart and then there was a couple of light flower shapes i did this the other day all over the house i did one in my living room one in my bedroom and cut one in half for my office and dining room amazing i'm loving the white tea type scents and this just performed so well and it was super good i've had this for over a year i know that much so i know her stuff does very well like years and years there's a girl in the group that posts all the time stuff that she bought in 2014 and 15 that's still performing very well so that's why i have a million pounds of her stuff because i know it's gonna last Cupcakes of Tiffany's Happy Birthday Pink Sugar from Nana Makes Sense. This one's really good. It was a cupcake, muffin, whatever you want to call it, scent or shape. I cut it in quarters, performed very well. Um, I got the Happy Birthday and the Pink Sugar more, which is usually the dominant sense. I don't get cupcakes. if Unless it's just Cupcakes of Tiffany's, the Cupcakes and Tiffany's don't come out nearly as much as the other scents. I finished Banana Marshmallow Fruity Loops from Vintage Road, trying to finish up my 2017 wax from her as well. This was a partial garden bar I got in a D-stash. Love this scent so much. I'm really getting into the banana scents now because a lot of vendors are starting to have more of a realistic fruity banana rather than that fake nerds type banana, the candy banana that just, oh, that just nauseated me. These bananas that I've been melting lately have smelled so authentic and just like a fresh banana. And that performed very well. And finally, I finished um, SPK, which is Shopkins, um, Wildberry Moose Frosted Cupcakes Pink Sugar. This was a partial, I think it was Sidekick. Um, I got this in a D stash. I have like four or five clamshells of this as well. This is good. This is stock up worthy. I would buy another BAM bag or two in this too. Um, it is heavier on the pink sugar, but you definitely get cupcakes and Wildberry Moose. Okay. That is it for this week. So I have some more hauls to upload, a lot of hauls to upload. So I will be taking care of that. Um, you'll see that throughout the week. My, Like I've said before, my bandwidth on my internet is not very strong. We have the max amount of bandwidth we can have for what we have for a router. And if we upgrade, it's an additional $50 a month just for an upgrade router. And then the internet is more expensive too. And right now we just, we already pay $40 a month for our internet and my husband just does not want to pay 50 on top of that. Plus whatever the amount is, I was quoted like $30 extra a month for the higher speed internet. So you're talking my, my, my 40, another 50 for an upgrade router, plus the 30 for the other internet. That's over a hundred dollars a month for internet. And we just do not need to spend that kind of money on internet. So I upload overnight, usually one video at a time. And or I set it first thing in the morning. Like right now it's quarter to six. Um, I will upload this right now. And then by the time my kids and I get up for the day, it'll be done recording. But it ties up our bandwidth for me to record or for me to upload when everybody's home and using devices on the Wi-Fi. So it's really, I can't do it when everybody's awake or home. So I do it when we're not home or when we're in bed. So that's why I don't upload as quickly as everybody else. All right. I will talk to y'all later. Have a great day. Bye.